Sports. One of Twitter's co-founders has a new venture. He wants to make it easier for people to pay and go. It's a new app called Square, and it can turn your mobile phone into a credit card reader. The virtual doors opened on Friday uh, for the app. Jack Dorsey uh, is here with me now. Congratulations on the new business here. Thank you. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Well, it's been fun, you say. It's, it's a tremendous amount of work getting this thing up and running right now. Tell me, when we're saying you've turned your phone into a credit card reader, how does that work? Well, we have this uh, little device, which is a, a little device that we give away for free. Uh, you download an application and you plug this into the audio jack of your phone, your Android or your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch, and it allows you to quickly plug it in and then swipe with your card. So you and I could have some sort of transaction right now? Yeah, so I can show you right now. So I've loaded the app up. I have put a dollar in so I can take your credit card. How did I know you were going to ask for that? <laughs> right here. And okay. then I just very simply swipe the card. It goes up. It sees if there's a dollar on this card. So the moment of truth here. You were approved. So now you just sign the phone with your finger. Like a regular... Like as if I were holding a pen. Absolutely, and you can also give me a tip. Oh, like, really? Did a good job. Okay, this is not my my penmanship is struggling here a little bit. <laughs> All right. And then hey, continue. continue. And then we we offer you a SMS or email receipt, and that's the whole transaction. So I get so no the, paper. the receipt emailed right to me. Want a receipt? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's amazing. So, who is it that you imagine using this? Well, we, uh, we see a lot of individual services, so a lot of people are not carrying cash anymore. They're, they're not carrying their checkbooks, so everyone is paying with plastic. So That's a generational divide, I think, Exactly. Right? Imagine if you could pay your babysitter with your credit card or your hairdresser or your photographer or your golf instructor. Anyone can now start getting into payments, and it, it really lowers the barrier to starting a company, especially a small business in America, makes entrepreneurship faster because payments is typically so hard. Small businesses don't have access to taking credit cards because you have to get a merchant account, and that takes three to four weeks to get a process. And, and that's just really complicated. And, and then you don't have. for them. Yes. Then you don't have analytics or any of the information around what your business is doing. So, what's the expense uh, that's associated with this? If I'm a merchant and I want to start uh, using Square, how much do I have to pay? You, you just go to the website, squareup.com, and it's free to download the app. The device is actually free, so we send it to you in the mail for free. And then you pay 2.75% on every transaction to receive the transaction. Typically, when you get a credit card account, you get a merchant account, you're paying 3 to 3.5 percent on average, but you're told that you're being paid or that you pay 1.64 percent. Mm -hmm. um, this is a teaser rate. It's really dependent on the card the payer uses, and it varies from 1.64 percent to 4 percent. But Square keeps it at one rate, 2.75 percent and 15 cents on the transaction. So how do you guarantee for security, right? I mean, you've got the established, the visas, the master cards. You can trust at least that there's an established brand behind it. Right. How do you overcome that, that barrier as a new name? Well, a lot of the protections in the credit card industry are on the payer side. When you're issued a card, it's assumed that the number is going to get lost or stolen. So everything is being watched on that side. So you have full recourse as a payer in case fraud does happen. On our side, we have a lot more information with these devices. These devices know where they are. Uh, we know what time it is. We know where the transaction is taking place. So we're watching every transaction to make sure that we can minimize the fraud and eliminate a lot of the risk that's potentially on the system. Um, so with more information, we can present a more trusted experience. We're continuing our conversation uh, with Jack Dorsey. You know him from his work at Twitter. He's been talking to us about his new venture here, Square. So uh, tell me, with a startup this time around, how has your experience at Twitter informed how you approach business now? One of the things we didn't do very well at Twitter early on is we didn't have a really good sense of analytics around what the business was doing, around what the service was doing, and how our users were using it. So this time around, we really focused on the data, making sure that we made instruments for everything that was happening so we can watch every single activity in the system so we can base our decisions around actual fact and how people are using it. 
Um, and I think it's really, really hard for a lot of startups and entrepreneurs to get into that practice because it doesn't seem like it's immediately useful. Mm -hmm. But having that sort of momentum and, and having a sense of where you've been and where you're going is huge for running a company. So what is it that you do with that archived information, those databases? Like you're saying there is a paper trail, but there's no actual paper in this in this transaction. So we use it to base our product decisions around. We use it, you know, if we determine that people are not really clicking on this part of the app or clicking on this part of the web, maybe we should consider taking that off or refining it. Um, and Twitter's been doing a lot more of this now, is like really paying attention to how people are using it and tracking everything that's going on so we can make the best experience constantly. So how are you uh, financing this new venture? I mean, what is it like in the marketplace right now trying to raise uh, investment money? The, uh, well, this one was easy because I just demoed it a lot and got a lot of money from the demos. Um, but the money is out there. It's more <laughs> discerning. Um, people are looking for a lot more innovation and a lot more solid ideas. That they, they, they're not looking just for a business plan. You want, you want to bring something that you can demo. Mm -hmm. that you can show, that you can show users on and using every single day. And for us, it was fairly easy because I could go in, I could take a VC's credit card and swipe right there and it works. And you can see it right in front of you. So uh, for Square, we raised a Series A um, and uh, you know, it's, it's been great. And Hosa Ventures also invested in this. Yes. You have a number of angel investors mm -hmm. and you yourself. Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, good luck with it. Uh, we'll have to track how you do. Thank you so much, Jack, for coming Thank in you. and explaining this new business to us.